the YouTube algorithm in all its glory has decided to start showing everyone a video I made weeks ago about the wedding set. Now, of course, this was before we had data mined information or anything that was coming up. I can give you a little more information now. So this wedding bench sitting right here at the cost of five heart crystals can be bought after you've had one single photo shoot. All right. Now you're, from my understanding, able to do one photo shoot a day. So you will be time traveling if you want to get this done early. So we'll head in here because the next few bits are inside my house. Um, the white wedding wall, which is what I believe this is, costs 12 crystals in one uh, progress. And in this room, we should find cockroach. The wedding decoration. Now, this wedding decoration is going to cost you three heart crystals, and you can do it on the first day. This flooring here, you can also do on the first day for 12 heart crystals. And there's a blue wedding rug, which I do not believe I have, or it's in another room. And the blue wedding rug, you can do on the first day for four heart crystals. Now, as we head back out, we're going to talk about day two. Okay, what do you unlock on day two? Day two is where I think people get some more stuff they actually want. Mostly you don't really are excited for the first things. You'll get that table on day two, the wedding table. It will be six heart crystals after you've completed two photo shoots. And this type of chair is three heart crystals after you've completed two photo shoots. The wedding party wall, which I'm actually not sure if I own, but maybe it was the one in the next room over. Maybe I have those rooms separate. But the wedding party wall is 12 heart crystals after day two. And that is as far as you're going to get on day two. Okay. So then you're going to have the wedding flower stand. Now, the wedding flower stand is this right here. That is four heart crystals after you completed three June bride events. The wedding candle set is right here. That's four heart crystals after you've done three events. And the wedding head table. Oh, I actually made a mistake. This is the wedding table that you receive for day two at six hearts. This is the wedding head table. The wedding head table is six heart crystals on day four. Sorry about that. But you get the idea. It's going to take you a while. The cake is on day four as well for five heart crystals. Now, there's only two new rewards for day three and day four. So let's go on to day five. Day five only has one new reward and it costs 40 heart crystals. And that is this organ. This organ costs 40 heart crystals and you can get it on day five. The wedding arch, which I use as an entryway to my town, 20 heart crystals on day six. And the welcome board is also five heart crystals on day six. Now, brown wedding wall, which I do not own, is going to cost 12 heart crystals on day seven. The green wedding wall, the green version, will be 12 heart crystals on day seven. The brown wedding flooring, 12 heart crystals on day seven. The green wedding flooring, 12 heart crystals on day seven. Sorry about that. The red wedding rug is going to be four heart crystals on day seven. The white wedding rug will be four heart crystals on day seven. Now, this is the cake dress. The cake dress will be 20 heart crystals on day seven. The tuxedo, which is what I am wearing, will be 20 heart crystals on day seven. The wedding pumps, as you can see over there in front of the table, those will be six heart crystals on day seven. The wedding shoes that I am wearing will be six heart crystals on day seven. And this bride's veil will be 12 heart crystals on day seven. So essentially what it boils down to is in this event, you will not be able to collect everything until seven days in. And you have a full month to collect the heart crystals and get as many as you want. Uh, so time travelers will have access to the full wedding set day one. If you're not time traveling, you're gonna have to wait at least a week probably longer because you're gonna have to acquire the heart crystal so yet again you know it's a nice bonus if you actually time travel on animal crossing as always uh nintendo 
as much as they seem to dislike the practice, you know, it's definitely pushes you to do so if you want new content. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope this helps people understand what we're doing in the coming days. I will make a video once the event's actually live. I obviously can't show you how to earn the heart crystals until the event is actually live and I can record footage of it. But I can tell you how the rewards work due to the data mines.